Hello LEGO friends, Matt from Brooks Bricks, back today with a video taking a look at some more mock vehicles I've recently done. If this interests you, stay tuned and let's have a look at all these cool little things. Alrighty, so... I still am in a vehicle building kind of frame of mind here. And I just think that as I've gotten more and more into it, it's really fun and I'm going to overwhelm my city streets here um, if I haven't already with a bunch of these things I'm making. But I really, really have come to enjoy doing vehicle builds. <laughs> There's a little thing there. Um, but let me go ahead and show you um, some of the things I've recently worked on. The frame first here. This is a little yellow car um, inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. And actually, I really like the design of this. I think it looks pretty cool. It's built on one of those very small chassis that I've kind of become more of a fan of um, over time here. And it has a very nice yellow design or yellow coloring to it. Um, what I like most about this is the way that the roof and the uh, the back portion of this is kind of built up um, to give this very kind of smooth look going up all the way around here and then kind of down the back side. Um, but I also look like the technique that I saw and kind of, I tried to emulate here with having these bumpers with these um, cheese slope pieces here. I think it came out really well. Actually, I think I'm going to build more like this kind of in the future, but you can see this, it's a basic model, um, but it looks pretty cool. Got a couple of the old school doors on here. Got a little bit of room in the back there. It could kind of be like a, um, a small trunk or something like that, theoretically. I like this back window here to give the impression of a small hatchback, perhaps. And then it can fit a Lego figure in here. I haven't put one in yet. And I chose to use these wheels just because I kind of like the look of how they um, looked on here, so to speak, um, with these little rims in here. It looks, kind of looks a little bit more fancy. So, that's the first one I went ahead and built. Let's take a look at some others. Alright, this next one is one of two that I built in a recent live stream. And the inspiration for this truck came from using a couple of these very old school 80s era um, chassis pieces. I've got one front and facing front and one facing back here. You can see right above the um, black plate here. And I just kind of let the pieces start talking to me. I didn't have anything in mind per se. And it led me in the direction of a very um, kind of 80s design, in a way, for a pickup truck. Um, but I incorporated some things that definitely made it look a little bit more modern, I think, compared to the kind of a boxy style that you would see with an 80s Lego truck. And I think the, the most interesting thing about this, if you go back to the side view here again, is this very interesting slope all the way from the top portion of the roof, the canopy, right down to the front end. And I didn't want to have it flat from the windshield down, like a lot of Lego cars in that era did. Um, I wanted to have at least a little bit of a, kind of a semblance of a nose. And as I played with it, I decided that this is the way to go, and I like how it came out. It looks really kind of sleek and aerodynamic in a way. And I know it doesn't look like a real truck, and how a real pickup truck would probably look, but you know what? It's Lego. That's okay. I had a little bit of creative mock freedom here, and I had fun with it. And I'm honestly pretty happy with how this came out. Um, the back is just a nice-looking little bed here with a fully functional tailgate that comes down. So you can load things up in here. It's got enough space for some little things. Um, but this is just something that I think can be like a personal pickup truck that, you know, somebody will be driving around in the city. So very happy with that as well. And then this other one I also built during a live stream here this morning, or I should say at the time of recording this video was this morning. <laughs> um, and this one, the inspiration for this was to use um, first were these traditional chassis pieces. And I wanted to use dark bluish gray as my primary color here. Um, my actual car in real life is a dark bluish gray, kind of a gunmetal gray, silver sort of thing. Um, Honda CRV. And I, I do like the color, I like how it looks, so that was kind of my basic inspiration for this. Um, I don't want to say it's modeled on the CRV because it's it doesn't have that look per se. And I think that the up the upper body here, the um, 
the canopy and the way that the windscreens are designed and all that it actually has more of a Subaru look to me when it comes down to it than anything else. Maybe like a um, Crosstrek or something like that, I think somebody mentioned. Um, but I really like this look for the, uh, the front. It looks just a little bit more kind of powerful, so, so to speak. Um, but I just wanted that texture more than anything else, not to make it just flat with a couple more slopes. And I think that did the trick. So, very happy with that. Um, I just wanted to put a little bit of a color in there for accent. So I put in some dark tan and I think it came out pretty good. Um, the only thing I'm not happy about, at least right now as a recording of this video, is in fact this top canopy piece, the roof piece. Um, but that's all I had that really would fit it and look okay for now. I will probably at some point look at replacing this as I do Brooklyn quarters in the future. I'll look for other slope pieces like a dark bluish gray or something else that may work for this. Um, so this is not 100% final yet, but we'll see how it goes. So in a nutshell, that is a look at, yet again, more vehicle builds from me. Again, I'm just having a lot of fun doing these and because I'm filling up my city space, and slowly working on things at this point, I, I'm really having a lot more fun doing vehicle builds. I'm getting better and better with my techniques and stuff. And that's part of the reason why I'm having a lot more fun with it. But I do hope, once again, that you enjoyed my look at these vehicles. I want to do a bit more thorough video this time just because I want to show every one of them off and my thought processes with everything, etc., etc. But as always, I want to thank my subscribers in particular for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button, hit a notification bell, hit the like button, really appreciate it. Leave a comment, thought below, share the video, all that good stuff. Also, if you'd like, feel free to donate to the channel. I have a link in the comments below or description below. Don't expect it, but it'd be really appreciated if you do so. It goes right back into everything I do here. But until next time, thank you so much for watching Brooks Bricks, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.